What is up, y'all? I am feeling low energy today. Hold on, let me move this jack. So, by the title of the video, you can probably tell it's maintenance day. I mean, we'll see what I do, but for now, the ribbing is starting to show here because the car is little by little getting lower because the springs are giving out. They're getting too soft, so I'm rubbing to the point where the tire's gonna pop and can't have that. So I'm gonna raise up the rear and hopefully it will stay there. I'm still gonna have to worry about it hitting bumps and stuff like that because we're close, man. You can see, I'm gonna have to order new tires. I may or may not order the 19s for the front. I don't know yet. So the, the, the catch with the 19s in the front is that right now we're sitting here, but with 19s in the front, it'll be like another half an inch up this way, as well as it'll be an inch up. So basically what I'm getting at is that this tire will then be closer to this. So the fitment will be better, but then that is gonna be rubbing in the front as well. I will get rid of my curb rash <laughs> that I got from uh, driving on a curb. That's, that's another story. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. But it also looks like I'm starting to rub here too from the coil over getting soft in the front. It's not the damper, it's the shock. The shock, these springs are known for not holding up their weight. Like they last, excuse me, they don't last, they, they work, they don't last long. They tend to get soft, really soft. And um, you know, the car gets lower and then it doesn't shoot back up as much as it should. Hence why we're having that issue in the rear. I'm actually shocked at how bad it is in the rear. I didn't think it was gonna get this bad. I put my brother in the car he's he's got some weight to him so uh it killed the tire that the passenger side is on so you literally sit in the back right over the axle and uh yeah i pretty much killed the tire so it's drivable is it safe no technically it's not i really shouldn't be driving on it but it's not the end of the world i'm not worried about it i have plenty of tread so i'm thinking i'm gonna order those other ones and then when those other ones arrive i'll probably put the 18 nine and a half on the back i'll get those mounted first Get the 18 nine and a half, put it on the back. But before I send these off to get mounted with the new tires, I will probably do a crazy burnout or something with these ones because these ones have a lot of tread. So I'm thinking if they survive, we'll ship them and you know send a burnout like crazy. And maybe I'll try to get some uh, some slides in or something in them. But I don't know how much I trust them to be doing slides and hitting bumps and stuff like that. The burnout at least will be stationary and. It won't be anything crazy. It won't smack the rim on the ground or something. If it pops, it pops, but it won't kill the rim. So that's where I'm at. I'm about to pick up the rear of the car and I'm gonna raise the coil over. So this is also bringing me into my next thing. I gotta do the coil over review and I gotta order springs. I know. The reason that I'm giving you that face is because we're talking about 230 for tires, another 220 at least for tires in the front we're at 450 plus another 460 for the tire for the rims up front so that's we're looking at 9 10 and then another 350 for springs all around so that would be what 12 10 so 12 60 1260 dollars to do everything at the same time i don't really want to spend that money so what i'm thinking is i'm going to order the 19 nine and a halfs with the tires get those set up and then i will order these tires i i really i, I might just order it all at once because i need to get tires for this just in case these do go granted if i have the 19 by nine and a halfs i can toss the 19 by nine and a halfs in the rear for the time being and keep the 18s up front because 18s are fine so yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll order the 19 nine and a half with the tires, get those mounted. And then from there, I'll order those tires after. I just don't want to spend, what is it? $600, $800 at once. I don't want to spend that. It's 910, but I don't want to spend $910 at once. So that's not even including shipping. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to raise the rear, try to get these sorted. I'm going to order my 19s for the front and then if I need to I'll use them for the back for the time being while I order those tires. The fitment won't be right, but I really don't care. This is for purpose of me being able to drive the car. 
The reason that these are rubbing, I really just need to wide body it. I'm gonna try rolling these more. They seem like they actually got pulled from them getting hot and, and going against the, the tire and going lower. So they definitely have more clearance than they did. And it looks amazing. And you know, the fitment looks great, obviously, because it <laughs> doesn't get more tucked than it touching. Uh, it's obviously not tucking because I have beyond the fender, which that's another thing. Yo, I've been, I either get, like, people either love this car, like, love it, or they absolutely hate it. That's something else I want to talk about, the exhaust. So, the other day, I was driving at night, you know, just having fun, driving the car, and I drove over a dirt road. This car is high enough. It has enough clearance to go over a dirt road. But the, the exhaust is touching, for sure, when it's on the, on the dirt road, and that was the issue. Yeah, look at this. You can actually see the ribbing better here now. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, I got to order. I'm just going to have to order all, all of them. Dang it, I don't want to do all that. It's most, so much money. All right, sorry, I'm just, I'm getting sidetracked. Well, anyways, exhaust was rubbing on the ground, so I might have messed it up a little bit. It does, it, it, it sounds the same, but I can't tell if it sounds loud or not. Maybe I'm just nitpicking, but it sounds like there's more drone around the drone areas. As far as driving, dailying, it sounds the same. Uh, you know, I'll be, this has enough low end power where it will be able to drive on the lower RPMs and it's not, it's not really loud at all. But then you rev it, if you're trying to get into power and it starts to get a little bit louder. It's really not loud relatively compared to what it was before, open headers and stuff like that. But I mean, that's a given. So it, it's, it now sounds like a sports car from, it sounds similar to a sports car from the factory. Like what a new Supra would sound like. It's a little bit, a little bit louder than that all around but it's very similar to that in the terms where it's how loud it is when it's popping and stuff like that. So I want to check out the exhaust while I pick this rear end up and then uh, I'll get these wheels off and start adjusting these coilovers. But these tires are definitely ready to get some new tires, not because of the tread, but because of the uh, sidewall, unfortunately. All right, guys, so here's where I'm at now. Uh, I took the wheel on and everything. You guys just saw me do that. I did it on the opposite side. I just showing this side now because I already cracked them loose. And as you can see, these are crusty, right? But the anti seize did its job. I literally spun these by hand, which is amazing. So now I'm gonna adjust the other side and then I'm gonna put this back on the ground with the wheels maybe. Maybe I jack up the thing, I don't know yet. And see what the clearance is. I would like to roll these more, but I just don't feel like it today. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of maintenance. Uh, the wheel, I mean, the car lowering and falling on the wheel definitely widened these a little bit and rolled them a little more. But yeah, so let me get into that. And the other thing that I noticed with this one, I haven't cracked this one loose yet, but this could just be speculation, but I feel like, I feel like this coilover is doing a little bit of this, which would mean that the coilover is starting to fail, but that would be me abusing it. That has nothing to do with the coilover itself. And honestly, it looks kind of straight right now. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but I mean, we'll see in the future if the coilover survives or not. Also, if you guys notice, my brake lines are starting to crust up, man. I was actually disappointed in this because I bought these copper coated ones and usually they're supposed to, technically it's supposed to green. This is fine. I'll still get two or three years out of them, but I would have liked to not have to deal with this. So that's another issue that I'm going to have to deal with somewhere along the line. And I think this might be that noise that I'm hearing because I keep hearing this while I'm driving and it's rubbing and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I think that's it. So from this, Yep, I think that's it. So I gotta bolt that down. Um, so I'm gonna keep crack lacking. I have to crack this one loose and then raise it about what that one's raised. 
and then see if it's high enough. I honestly might raise it up higher than it's even supposed to be just for safety measures so that I don't pop these dang tires because if not, then I'm gonna be running on crappy tires. I have I have a second set, which are from the, the old setup on this car that it came with. And obviously they're 16s and they'll go on here and the tires are rotted. So that might be going back in the car for the time being, and that would be no good. This is something else I noticed with the coil over. Again, this is partially my fault because I have the setup super wide, wider than it technically is supposed to be. They do say that these cars can run like 12s though, with like plus 22 or something. So like, I don't know how, but it's my camber for sure. I have this like overly cambered, but if you see, I got a nick here. So I must have bottomed out and then hit something on the suspension of the car and uh, it nicked my rim, which this is the inside. I honestly don't care. Oh, and if you notice that too, that was something else I want to point out. No brake dust because in the rear, they're carbon ceramic. Now that, you know, it should, it still does make some, but that's why these, these aren't as big as the front ones and the front ones are running regular brake pads. I have carbon ceramic for the front ones, but I didn't put them on yet because I had, I, I, I had brake pads that worked for that and I couldn't source the carbon ceramics fast enough to put them on the car and I needed brakes. So yeah, that was something else I want to point it out. But yes, this from being cambered and this car being so low and the damper not dampening, it's dampening, but it's just not, the spring isn't springing enough and it must've bottomed out somewhere. Where, I don't know, but definitely bottomed out somewhere. And then I'm getting noise that but on the other side so i gotta put a bolt in these so that i can stop hearing that noise i know i just showed you on the other side but i'm starting to notice it and then if you look again this line is getting crusty man it's no good which means two or three years i'm gonna have to do brake lines in this car if i keep this car but like i said i don't think this car is gonna be around for long so we will see i know guys i apologize this is a, probably a boring one but you gotta maintain your car and you know do my maintenance so I'm going to get back into this and then I'm going to test fit this again. And hopefully I don't have, Oh, that's, Oh, that's the other thing I want to show you. Hopefully I don't have any issues though, but so I measured them. These are eights and these are sevens. These tires are doing really good. These are like Sonny's. They're eBay tires. 230 for two of them. So for the rear tires is $230 and they're doing great. So I dogged them. I've the burnouts in them already. I've smoked them out and they perform, they do their job. I wouldn't, I don't know about track tires or anything like that because I'm not doing any lap times. I'm not super gripped up. You guys have to go talk to the track guys for that. But as a guy who's looking for cheap tires and fun tires, 230 is not bad for some 19s. But if you look now, you can see how much I rubbed off. This is what it originally looked like. It was round. Now it's like this. It's all bubbled out and stuff like that. That's how it used to look. This looks way cooler, but I'm not a shaped tire guy. I didn't shape my tires intentionally. This is just Defender, so yeah. Like I said, let me get back to this. I want to show you guys how easy it was for me to get these off. So I just kind of cleaned some of the dirt off just to get that out of the way. Yes, I have a spanner wrench, but to be honest with you, it's easier to just take this that, that flathead and then hit it with a hammer and get that ring loose. The spanner wrench, again, if you anti-seize these, you really don't need the spanner wrench. So you do for this, I will say you do need it for that to hold them against each other. Let me put you guys, okay, I think I might be able to do it just like that. Yeah, look at that, literally one hit. So again, if you guys, take care of the coilover properly, then these things shouldn't have any issues. So I didn't do them too loose. I don't want to do this too loose because I used the, I, I used it, eyeballed it to see how much it spins. But yeah, look at this, easy spinning, easy spinning. Literally by hand. Dude. So, oh, I hate this fit, man. <laughs> Looks so garbage now. Ah, oh, I'll get it dialed back when I get my new tires. I don't like it. 
Don't put it back. I can't though. I'm not allowed to. It should set a little more because now it's on the coilover. But it actually looks like it took some load off the front, which is good. Man. It don't look that bad. I just don't like it. I like when it was tucked. The camera actually, it pulled a lot of the camera out because it's sitting up straight now. I almost think the camera is like at like three and a half, maybe four degrees even. It was about four and a half before, but I don't know, it looks more even than it did before. It's definitely still there, but. Ah! I don't like it. It is what it is until I get new tires, and I'm sure that it's not gonna OD rub. I'm gonna leave it that way. I don't care if it rubs, but it's rubbed too much now. So now the next set of tires should be fine when I put them on at this level and then they'll have more beef to them. So maybe they'll fill out the arch more. I need to roll the fender more. It's definitely rolled more just from touching the dang tire, but man, I like my fitted look, man. <sighs> Maintenance, I know. I gotta order tires, order 19s on <laughs> i meant to check the actual brake pads too i forgot but i gotta torque these down so i couldn't find the other red ones i know my rims are dirty i really don't care i'm gonna get 19 so it doesn't even matter but i also got these for the car because i couldn't find the rest of the red ones so i'm missing one on this one so we'll replace these now because i like having little fancy caps hold on let me take them out I got purple this time. I like the red, but the red looked really good on the white. I know this is kind of like Hulk colors, but I don't know. I felt like the purple was the way to go. So these are nice. Like, let me know if I should sell these. Cause like I could sell them on the site. They come with little valve stem caps and everything. I could sell them for like 10 bucks and you guys get cool little dice. I'm actually, let me not even speak it into existence. But I've had these on here for, like I said, they were on the white car. So they've been around for a while. I'm almost tempted to keep the red ones on and then, you know, mismatch them with the purple, but I have the purple. So I'm gonna just put the red ones in the car and then run the rest around the car. That's the only thing I don't like is they tend to get caught in the thingy keep getting cut off because I keep running out of memory but if you look these things actually last and you can stick them back in and they make sure that none of the water gets into the actual valves and it makes it so it doesn't get crusty so that you don't have them stuck to your valve stem and the valve stem doesn't spin in the rim you can't get this off so yeah if you guys want some let me know and I'll sell them for like 10 bucks I think they have I get them for purple red blue some other ones but we'll see i don't know maybe i apologize guys this is a short one i know it was a boring one but this is what's going on this week you got to do your maintenance and no i'm not doing my change because i'm lazy so i'm ending it here this car does need an oil change it needs a few other things but now the rear is raised i know it's not as satisfying but it's still decent fitment and you know, it is what it is. I'm going to order those. Hopefully they'll be here in like the two weeks. I say two weeks because I'm going to try to do the review, guys. I know I'm still procrastinating on that. But I say two weeks because I'm going to have to order them. I have to show up and then I have to mount them and then put them on. The other thing I want to talk about was look how dirty this. I mean, how clean this one is. And this dirty is car. I mean, regular brake pad, carbon ceramic, no brake dust. Lots of brake dust. These rims are literally the same rims, and somehow they look like that. And these look like that. But anyways, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to get you guys not a cold start, but a cold start because it's colder than it was.